Nobody really believed in me. Okay. When I started this, even from my family, from friends, you know, the thought doesn't exist. Yeah. So most people they want to have like sort of like start trading. They want to see everything blue, everything blue. And yeah. once you don't accept that, you're going to make mistake. You're going to lose money. You're not going to make money. Yeah. What's up traders? Welcome to another installment of Market Masters Out and About Edition with myself, Kumbia Tambani from Top Traders South Africa. This season is sponsored by Exynos, an international multi-asset broker which is also licensed right here in South Africa. On this show, I sit down with the most prominent and talented traders in the industry and we have chats on all things trading. Hi guys, how are you guys doing? It's Mubile Tembani here from Top Traders South Africa and today I'm joined by Vuvu. Yes. We're still in Cape Town by the way, as you guys can see in the background right now, we've got the nice views. A big shout out to Exynos for bringing us out here, you know, and hey, showing us live, you know, giving us an Exynos partner experience. Uh, yeah, big shout out to Exynos for yeah. that. Such a good experience. I yeah. Mean, I mean, I had a... I mean, the, the good way of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was like in a movie. Yeah, it, it was a movie this weekend. Yeah, it no. was, yeah. I, it was a movie this weekend. If you went here, I, you, you missed out. You missed out. Yeah. Bro, my brother, thank you so much for agreeing to sit down with me. Um, uh, we met on Friday. Today, today is Monday, by the Monday, way. Yeah. So we met on Friday. We spent like the whole weekend just all together as a group and like you're you're really a really amazing guy by the way thank you the knowledge that you have i'm so excited to sit down with you right now because you've been just dropping knowledge over the weekend yeah, yeah. every conversation you're having it's either business say or oh, trading <laughs> yeah man you know yeah i mean i'm a person that i'm always trying things out yeah, yeah, yeah. and not everything that i try it works out yeah, yeah. but at the end of the day i learn yeah yeah and it actually connect to other things that are yeah. I do. So I'm always about learning, right? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> trying to do something, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. So your name is Vuvu. Yeah. You're known as Vuvu. Yeah. People they know me as Vuvu. They know you as Vuvu. Vuvu yeah. from uh, Durban. Yeah. Basically, I'm from Venda. I'm from, oh, oh, okay. Then I moved to Durban since 2015 when I was doing studying. I was yeah. studying in yeah, yeah. doing making call then. Okay. Then, uh, I moved to Durban. Yeah. And I found it a lovely place to stay, yeah. other than other places. Yeah. Like a good place to be because let's say I've made my life yeah, like everything. Yeah, yeah. I know it's everything me. what's going on. So oh, that's okay, why I yeah. It. Yeah. So you were studying mechanical engineering. So like after, uh, well, when did you hear forex? Like when did you get involved with forex? No, I started. You know, like when I was studying, there used to be guys who used to pass with like <laughs> pass with the, like you know the, the the sports cars, yeah. branded <laughs> forex. Yeah. And I was like, what's this, yeah. man? And then I make some research and then, you know, I started Forex around 2016. Okay. Yeah, 2015, on my second year. Oh, your second year? Yeah. yeah. Did started. you finish your degree? No, I still have some, like, two modules left. Two modules left. Yeah. So are you still planning on finishing your degree or is, the, is, is that trading money too nice? No, I mean, it's not, it's not really about the money. <laughs> I'm not, I realize it's not something that I want to do in life. Oh, like, yeah. I was just studying because, okay, they said engineering, yeah, yeah. just money, yeah. and I went and studied engineering, yeah. and I didn't finish because I was failing, or I was, yeah. I was good, and I was... You did, well, so you didn't, finish, you didn't finish because of Forex? No, I, I, I didn't finish because of Forex, yes, oh, because okay. I studied Forex, okay. and you know, I was lagging, you know, on the school side, because <laughs> I started making money, <laughs> and, but I wouldn't want to do it anymore, Is it? Like, yeah, it's, not, you it's, not, it's, not, it's not my thing. Yeah. But um, I currently found something that I love. Yeah, yeah. You know, I love computers. So oh, okay. I registered something. You know, you know, University of People. Yeah. Uh, it's in USA. Okay. So it's free, yeah. free of charge to yeah. study. You only need one thousand rand, which is sixty dollar for registration. Okay. And then you study for free for a yeah. degree. Yeah. So I actually started. I started this year. Okay. And then I'm doing my first year okay. studying computer science. Yeah. 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 No, that's great. It's, I think it's really such a great thing for you to actually want to grow yourself as a person. Just because now you're making money it doesn't mean that you must like just focus there and not want to grow yourself as a person. You know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I can say, you know, most people are like, ah, 
education, this and that. It's, 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 it's very important to tell you the honest truth, education. And then most young people maybe, they started making money and they do not, like they, they take maybe education as it's nothing, like nine to five, this and that. And I feel like they're taking it in a wrong way because, for example, I, I don't think like a person who drop out at grade 12 or didn't have metric, like I think beyond that. So education, what I can say, it builds you as a person. Your personality, you know, like it, it groom you, if I can put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's great. So now, how long have you been trading for? From 2016 to now. To now, yeah. It's like, it's like almost six years. Yeah. Almost six, six years in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you've been in it. Eh? Yeah, I've been in the game for a very long time. <laughs> very long time. I've been in the game. Yeah, yeah, six yeah. Six years. So who inspired you coming up? I mean, um, I know I cannot really name people okay. because I used to look up to them back yeah, then. But yeah. You don't want to mention that, names. Yeah, now. I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. Nah, yeah. I understand. And they inspired me to be who I am, and I'm, I'm very grateful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you started the game, in being in the game, you know who's real, who's fake, you know, like, and most of the thing, it was a lie, because. Most people lie, and right now there's nobody who inspire me in forex because <laughs> most everyone is a, most people are lying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I look up to. <laughs> 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 I cannot really say names, but yeah. big people. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I understand. So in terms of okay, so right now I know we had a conversation, and you're somebody who's really focused on copy trading. Yeah. Yeah, copy trading. So can you just explain to us what is going on there? What is copy trading? Okay, so I'll explain to you what is copy trading, yeah. right? Or some they call it um, forex account linking, right? Okay. So it's like um, you're managing an account, but you're not managing them direct, okay. right? So what happened? You must have, uh, for example, a master account, which the master account is your own personal account, right? So you'll have clients, so we'll come and say, okay, I don't have time for trading or I've been losing or, you know, so something like that. And then they'll want to link their personal account yeah. to your account. Yeah. So whenever you, I'm trading my account, yeah, yeah. so it means that the account is trading as well on the same ratio. Yeah. And like, it's like signals, but yeah. you're not really, really doing, you're doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. And then I open a trade, I make 10% of my account, you make 10%, regardless of how much you can have. You can, let's say that the, the master account is yeah. like a, $200 and then you can lick 100,000. Yeah. So you, I make 10% of $200, you make 10% of 100,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how it works. Yeah, you actually do mention like, it's not like signals. So copy trading versus uh, 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 giving out signals, like what's the difference there? Okay, the difference is with signal, you have to write, okay, please buy gold at this price, yeah, take stop yeah. loss at this time. Yeah. And you find that your clients are busy. I mean, they, don't, they, don't, uh, they see your signal after an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have early entry. <laughs> they lose money yeah. or they make money. Yeah. Like that, 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 that's the difference. Or maybe you're having your clients, you, you, maybe you're giving good signals, but yeah, yeah, yeah. your clients, they are, when it comes to risk, yeah. they are very reckless. Yeah. And maybe you give, them, they, you give them signals, they put high risk. And then they end up losing money, and tomorrow they're gonna come back to you, and they're like, <laughs> you know, if I lost my money, you're yeah. such a scam. Yeah. But with copy trading, I put a risk of two percent on my account. Your account take the same two percent, and you know, like, in order to maintain the business, it's not about losing the money or trying to impress yeah. your clients by making so much money. Yeah, yeah. The small little money we make, like five percent to two percent a day, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. my target in a monthly basis. I don't target to flip an account in a day. Like um, I want to, like I, I want to make three times my account in a monthly basis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you can do that, but how long can you do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. that, that, that's the question you should ask yourself. You can be lucky, do it two times, three times, but for me, what I care most is about the consistency. Okay. You know, I yeah. make my two dollar every day. I'm actually too much better than somebody who flip an account because yeah. that person mean that. You know, like, if you made your money by, by gambling, yeah. you're gonna lose it, all of it through gambling. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I...
In 2020, Exxon saw its highest ever trading volumes, $7 trillion for the year, with a $930.6 billion new monthly record in March 2021. The number of active clients from more than 150 countries was up almost 100% year on year to 187,609. All this information we publish on our website together with our price history. We do this so as to maintain our commitment to transparency. Yeah, I think you, you touch on such a very important topic uh, right now because like you make, you're probably making uh, how much percentage a month is your target? Are you looking to make 30% every month or do you have a percentage? No, like for, for, for my target, yeah. normally in a monthly basis, I can achieve like 80% to 150. 150 is when, you know, I have a great month, yeah, you know, yeah, maybe yeah. my losses are much more smaller. Yeah, but, but, but also you also said that each day you're targeting like very small amounts, yeah. percentages and all that. And I think so many people, what has happened in the industry right now is that a lot of people frown upon that because people want to make money now. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I can say if, if you're hungry yeah. and you're trading, trading for hunger, you're not going to make it. It's going gonna, gonna to take you a long time. Yeah. Because you're trading to pay your rent, you're trading to live a certain lifestyle, you're trading, you know, it's going to take you a long time. For me, I take trading as a, as a business. Yeah, yeah. You know, in, 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 in any, any, any business, like for example, I can give you like um, Sasco. Let me make example with Sasco, for example. You know, they're still making losses even today. Any company still makes losses. Yeah, yeah. You know, like they can plan, okay, today or this month, we're baking maybe 100 loaves. Though the loaves that they're planning to have, maybe you'll find 80, yeah. they come out okay. Yeah. But the 20, they're bent. Yeah. But at the end of the month, they're still within the profit margin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they have some losses. Yeah. So most people, they want to have like, sort of like, they start trading, they want to see everything blue, <laughs> everything blue. And yeah, yeah. once you don't accept that you're going to make mistake, you're going to lose money, you're not going to make money yeah. because you're going to hate yourself. You know, like I lost this trade. Yeah. You try to revenge the trade. <laughs> you, lose, you keep on losing. So yeah. I think that's the some of the thing as well. Like some way, somehow, it it, it it delayed it delayed me a little bit. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. trying to revenge the trade, yeah. like beating myself up for the mistake that I did in a trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And instead of blowing, an, you know, like for example, it is very it is very easy accepting a loss. Other than waiting, you can see this, this trade is not coming back <laughs> and it blew and imagine <laughs> you have to fund again. Yeah, yeah. But accept a loss Okay. and after you accept a loss, recover yeah. without funding another amount. Yeah, yeah. Margin, you blow, you fund again. You have to, you have to, you try now, like you're trading under, I can say, you, 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 anger, anger issue, like you're trading, you're trying to recover the money that you have lost your yeah, bloom previously. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. To be back into square one. Yeah. And you find that it's not working because you're trying to recover that money as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So quickly, so fast. Yeah, yeah. And you end up not doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so basically patience is a very big part of this game. Yeah, you know, it's the, it's the name of the game. It's patience. the name of the game. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not, uh, forget yeah, about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> you can it's forget gonna about it. Years. Yeah. 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 So right now, uh, I know we were talking the other day, you were busy telling me about your other businesses that uh, Forex has basically enabled you to branch out into other businesses. Can you just give like people advice there on also just not, not depending on Forex alone as a stream of income? Yeah, you know, um, yes, uh, I believe like, you know, you must have different source of income. For example, I do a lot of things, you know, like, and my things are, my things are working fine. Like for example, I do drop servicing. So drop servicing is much more easy because it has a high profit margin. Okay. You get what I mean? Because for example, Let's say you have a company that you do doing tiling or plumbing. Yeah, yeah. I can help you, like, I can have a company, like I have a company that is called Titanic, yeah. right, Holdings. So what I do, I, I do drop servicing. So my company does everything, construction, anything, right? But I do not, I don't have experience with plumbing, tiling and those kind of stuff. I do not have, right? So what happens is, like, um, I'll look, for example, I'll advertise, okay, my company does this, does this. For example, I'll advertise that I do plumbing. So after that, I'll go, I'll make connection with people who does plumbing. And then once I get a, like, for example, somebody come, 
to do maybe maybe somebody like calls me okay Vovo, please come do my do, do do plumbing for my house then i'll go call those guys so like okay you'll have a deal 30 percent you know like okay maybe the guy like okay i can do this job for twenty thousand and then you tell the client we can do this job for twenty five thousand so imagine you already mark up by five thousand you have five thousand and this guy is still going to give you 30 percent from that twenty thousand how much is that <laughs> Yeah, yeah no, so I see. <laughs> it's, it's, I see. It's, 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 a, it's a good thing to do, and you don't do too much work. Yeah. The only thing you do, you just have to run it professionally. Yeah, yeah. Even when you're doing a code, put it on the paper. Yeah. Your code professionally, and yeah, yeah. do not let your client, your client that you got, to be in contact, contact with those people. You have to receive the money yeah. for the job, and you pay them. They are seventy percent. Yeah. So <laughs> that's how and. You know, in a month, you can make it easy. <laughs> easy 50 grand, man, like yeah, easy, yeah, yeah. easy, yeah. you know, and it's crazy because, yeah. yeah, and the other thing I'm doing is Airbnb yeah. arbitrage. So Airbnb arbitrage is quite an amazing thing as well. Like, you're just a middleman, like, uh, for example, you rent out properties. So let's say for here, around here, you can look for property like 7,000, depends where the area, but you have to get property in a hotspot so that you don't be on a loss. Yeah, yeah. You can just get it anyway. Yeah. You can get like a property for like, depending on the area, if for example, 8,000 for rental, yeah, yeah. one bedroom. After that, you furnish that that, 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 that that place. Yeah. You, you penal bid it. Yeah. And after that, you, you list it on Airbnb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can be getting booking in a day, like yeah, 1,000 yeah. a night. Yeah. And if you fully booked, you want to make like 30 grand. And you make 30 grand, you make the seven, you, 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 you make, I mean, you make 30 grand, you pay the rent 7k yeah. and then you're left with how much? 23,000. Yeah. Not from the property that you own. <laughs> Not owning any property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just have to be sure about you know, the, your roles, everything. That's yeah, the most yeah. important thing. Yeah. So that you don't get, for example, you, you don't fight with your landlord. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I hear you. Okay, so, but like going back to trading now. Uh, like, what has been the most defining moment of your trading career? Like, what, what moments is there where you're like, nah, this thing is actually for me? I mean, man, um, I realized the thing is for me because um, nobody really believed in me. Okay. When I started this, even from my family, from friends, you know, the thought doesn't exist. Yeah. But I was able to prove a point because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For my age, I made my first million around 2018. Okay. And that was uh, like, you know. <coughs> Entirely from trading? Yeah, yeah, trading only. That's where I made yeah, yeah, my yeah. first meter. Yeah, yeah. And I was so happy. Is it? And I <laughs> achieved good for myself, okay. you know, like, and then I'm quite, I'm quite very proud of myself, you know, for base where I come from. Yeah. Because, hey, bro, I come from far, bro. Is it? Wait, come on, take us back. <laughs> <laughs> take you know, us you back know, there. To, to tell you the honest truth, when I came here, yeah, yeah. it was, I, I was never been in, in a CBD before, even job back from vendor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I imagine, I don't even know how to speak English that proper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zulu, I don't know. Just, yeah. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just in a, in, 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 in a place, bro. I'm lost. And the funny part, bro, like, you know, when I came here, yeah. I came here with only five pants. Yeah. And maybe three t t-shirts that I had. Yeah. And I used to, you know when you attend lab? Okay, yeah. Like, um, I used to go with my, you know, my shoe, the oh. sharp, sh the sharp nose shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that I use for my metric. Okay. And then you're supposed to have boots there, but I didn't afford that. Yeah. But I started trading regardless, and then when I started trading, that's so why I created my first bank account. I never had a own a bank account yeah, when I was doing yeah. second year. Yeah. Because I used to get money from home through, you know, ShopRite. Yes. Yeah, the deposit via ShopRite, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I started trading and I opened my first bank account. Yeah. And 2016, 2017, man, it wasn't an easy journey. It was, it was hard. Yeah. It was, it, it was hard. But 2017, I was, because I started on, on binary. Okay. And 17, 2017, things actually got better, yeah. uh, and then I made, I made money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bought my first car. Okay. The car that I bought was Yaris. Okay. And I was happy, bro. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <So> like <laughs> I felt like it was a dream, a dream, dream like, come true. Yeah. It was a Yaris, and I was so happy yeah, by yeah. that time. And you know, but the funny part is, 
I lost the money again. Is it? I had like 150k cash. Yeah. And I lost it one day in you know, Forex. Really? Yeah. And yeah. you know, I like I used to stay with this dude. I won't name him by his yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Working at Ulamin. Yeah. In PMB trading. By like that time. And I lost all my money one yeah. day. And then I was not used to buying grocery everything. Margin. Yeah. You, 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 people they know that you, if this trading is making money, you can't even <laughs> borrow money by then. <laughs> it was rough, no, that yeah, was, it was yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah. And the guy, because he used to, like, sort of like, when I go out, I'll buy grocery, like, uh, with him, you know. And the other day, he saw me cooking. Yeah. Hey, what's happening with you? <laughs> when, since when you started cooking? <laughs> <laughs> so, so that, no man, I just yeah. saw, I decided that I want to cook, you know, <laughs> I want to cook. I wake up 4 yeah. o'clock and you know, you cook, I cook like porridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine from 8, from 4, yeah. up, because I used to buy takeaways at work. Okay. Those takeaways are gone, bro, you have to wait for the payday. <laughs> I mean, the payday is far, bro, I used to live out of takeaways. Yeah. And the payday is far, because yeah. that money, I used to get like, I, I, well, I was doing my in-service, I was yeah. used to get about like 6k. Yeah. And then the pay is far, bro. And then that money, when I get it month then it's nothing. Yeah. I realize, you know what? <laughs> and then this guy keep on asking, you, you, you love cooking, you know what? I have to sit down with him, you know yeah, my man, yeah. listen here. Because he used to be against Forex, you know, I'll never do this. <laughs> okay. But I didn't tell him the truth, even yeah. still today. Yeah. Uh, it was like, um, I sit with him, and I was like, um, you know what, my man, you know, I'm in a big trouble. Yeah. Um, they block my account. I can have access to that. <laughs> and that guy made means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He borrowed some money somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we, we yeah. pushed for the money. But, but what was like the, the circumstances around you losing that 150k in just like one day? I mean, it was, it was heartbreaking. Like, no, what was going on? Why did you lose 150k in that day? Because I was gambling. You were gambling? That's yeah. simple. Do you yeah, remember uh, what yeah. you were trading that day? Yeah, I was trading binary. You know, binary options. Okay. Yeah. So. What happened? I lost. I lost. Um, I, I I put hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. And then I traded that hundred dollars to like two thousand dollars. Yeah. And that two thousand dollars. Yeah. I lost it. Okay. And what happened is you 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 have anger. You're trying to revenge the trade. Yeah. You understand? So what happened is you're trying to rec like I you know binary. Yeah. Like yeah, you know, yeah. I lost that two k. I'm 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 like I'm hating myself. Yeah. Like I put another two k. Trying to recover the first 2k, and then I forgot yeah. that I just I put hundred dollars to make that 2k. Yeah, yeah. I risked that two hundred dollars, yeah, yeah. two thousand that I put dollars yeah. at one go. Yeah. The trade go. Yeah. You lost one minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're trying to recover the four thousand. I put five thousand dollars. One go, you risk one go. <laughs> you know, like. I got sick. Yeah. Same day. I even I even told my boss that I'm going home. I just go clock <laughs> out, go home. <laughs> you know, it was yeah. uh, it was crazy, man. Yeah. And then I, I got sick. And luckily enough, my comeback was um, I got this guy from Jobek, yeah. who's my mentor. Yeah. So it, it was it was a it was a I don't know like yeah. it was God God God's grace. Yeah, like he came yeah. to me. You know, after after second month of losing money, like hey, boom, boom, I have five hundred k. Please trade it. Yeah. I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah. And then I put that. I, I took that 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 that, that five hundred k to yeah. million. Okay. And I made a profit of five hundred k. Yeah. And then he gave me two fifty. Yeah. As my share. Yeah. And then I was able to come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then from there, uh, things we been good. And then oh. I, uh, 2018, I started with copy trading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I uh, made my first million on copy trading. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I was killing it, yeah. killing it, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, that's I've great. Done, I've done good. Yeah, you, you really have done so well for yourself. Like, your story is really, like, inspirational. Especially you just saying right now, it's just how things just went south yeah. at some point. So, what has been, like, your best trade that you've had? The way you look back right now, you're like, yeah, no, that trade is the best one. Um, the best trade is, uh, I have two best trades in my life. Okay. But it was a very big lot, lot 200 lots. And then uh, 150 lots. Okay. Yeah. So I put, you know, I had balls, man. <laughs> you know, I put like uh, 200 lots. Yeah. I make good money. Yeah. 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 I can imagine. That's a yeah. lot. <laughs> but the, well, the, the, what, the, the, what, the, what were you trading that day? What gold. Gold. Yeah. 
the 200 lot one yeah, yeah, yeah. it it worked out the same day yeah pulled good money yeah, yeah, yeah. by my house yeah. <laughs> and then the another one the 150 lot one it didn't almost didn't go well it's because it's... from i had a equity of like uh 500 yeah 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 500k yeah and then i went for drawdown of almost like uh the balance was left was like around 180 to 200 yeah, yeah, yeah. and i almost lost that and then imagine holding the trade from friday yeah yeah, yeah. right then that's a big lot 150 friday yeah, over and then the weekend it, it only over the weekend uh -huh. it woke up in with a with a with a gap yeah almost blow the account yeah and then it comes back retrace and then you go into the monday nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuesday, nothing. Yeah. Wednesday, around four o'clock, it pays out, bruh. Yeah. And then this whole time, the four days, bruh, you know, <laughs> bruh. you know, like every every yeah. every second. Yeah. You on your phone like this, you 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 even move to one minute, one minute can you speak? You trace every movement, yeah, bruh. Like yeah. you know, yo, know, it was. Yeah. Then yeah, that, 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 those are the best yeah. trades of my life, and yeah, they, they, they. and then you know, like the money that I put there. That 500k, I made almost about six meter from on Xness, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they paid me yeah. <laughs> with no questions, with no what. Yeah. Same day, the money yeah. in the bank. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So, but I took a very big risk yeah, yeah, because yeah. that was my last money. Yeah. And uh, and I was I have like I had a Range Rover, so I was risking the Range Rover for for like I told okay, if I lose this 500k what what i'm gonna eat what i'm what, what i'm gonna do but i was like okay no i have the plan if let me take a risk yeah, yeah, yeah. i make this money yeah if things don't go well i'm going to sell my range rover hmm. and fortunately enough things went well yeah, yeah yeah but would you recommend that to someone out there to like risk their last money or whatnot or no man i wouldn't recommend to anybody to trade as gambling because like as like they're gambling because when you know you know not all of us we have that kind of no of spice like spices okay <laughs> <laughs> you know you can do it bro yeah. then, but for me by nature bro yeah. I'm, I'm lucky okay uh, like some people like we can do things together but it pays well for me and then like if uh, I start something, I just start making money at the yeah. same time. So do you think your success is because you're lucky? You're no, 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 it's not because I'm lucky. Yeah, yeah. And the luck is just a word, bro. Like, I uh, can't really say, I work hard, bro. Yeah, and yeah. I work hard. And, yeah. You know, it's not like, but it's just like, people say I'm lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I work hard, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to lie to you. Yeah. I work hard, spend time, and not like uh everybody knows my failures and before they see whatever they see yeah. they don't know how many times i've flopped how many how much money i've lost yeah. you know and it, I, I lose i lose money through things yeah yeah, yeah. okay so but you're here today yeah i'm here you're today. still standing still standing you yeah, know one yeah. man yeah going yeah I'm still standing. <laughs> but i'm planning to go big now yeah, you know yeah. okay Pro now. professionally but oh it's like full-time trading I'm, full, I'm a full-time trader. Yeah. I mean, like. Um, what do you mean by professionally? I want to handle my things professional, yeah, not yeah. like um, I don't want to be the kind of person in order to convince somebody to come join whatever I'm doing. I must use a lifestyle, or yeah, yeah. I have to be driving a Ferrari or whatever. No, yeah. that's that's the route I want to go. Oh, you okay. know, like I just have to talk to people and yeah. then tell them the the, the truth. Yeah. This is what it. If they don't take it. Or if they want to see me driving a certain car, yeah, I will drive a certain car, but not to show off, yeah, yeah, just yeah. for myself because I love it, yeah. yeah. Okay, now that's great. Any advice that you have for the people coming to the end of the interview? Yeah, the most advice I can say for the people... You can say it over there, that camera over there. <laughs> <laughs> no, the most advice I can say for the people is, um, you know, mostly as a trader, uh, maybe if you feel like, uh, or you're doing any other business, and any that other business that you've done it's not guaranteed like it can fall anytime the most advice that i was uh, told is uh, don't do debt on something that is not going to make you money you get what i mean like for example yes you can have right now you're making for example right now let's say you're making like a uh, hundred thousand 
what you must tell yourself how long am I going to make that hundred thousand for how long or is just this portion of but if maybe you're you, you're gonna make that hundred thousand for a very long time I mean you know that it's guaranteed I mean you can go for debt and then reasonable debt you know but now I can be I'm making 100k and then three months I'm still making four months I'm still making 100k and then I'll go to the bank I'll be like okay I need that Range Rover I need that house in Kensby I need yes the bank will give you brother I'll say okay give us six months bank statement you give them yes you make 100k and then the next time you're not making that 100k what happened yeah it's a it's a one go fall yeah but if you you, you everything that you accumulate you do it cash but like if things are not going well you have this ah, no, let me let go of my range rover because you buy cash and you'll be able to start somewhere yeah. let me let go of that thing i'll be but the most important thing is uh property yeah. you know like i'll advise everybody you know forget about the cars and everything else let's let's because i was you know because the way i jumped in the, in, into the industry I was shown a lifestyle of cars, yeah, yeah. you know, like, and those things were well, like just liabilities and yeah. not doing you. You know, like I had like four cars, one one man, yeah. like yeah, four cars, yeah. and uh, Range Rover i8, yeah, yeah. e350, yeah. GT, BMW, yeah. and I bought them cash, yeah. and but they were not doing anything for me. But as well. Um, they were kind of, of like uh, insurance to me. Like uh, I know that they are depreciating, but they were like uh, insurance to me that anything can go wrong yeah. during. I don't have money. I can be able to let one 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 go or yeah. do any other stuff. Yeah. But the most important thing is property because with property, bro, imagine yeah. you have five six properties. Yeah. <laughs> How much are you gonna be making? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be making yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. And which is a cash flow that you know that is guaranteed. Then you can go to then it's where now you can go like you know what you go to BMW, you know what I want that thing there. <laughs> you pay twenty grand a month. You know that that twenty grand you're gonna get it, and then your kids, your kids they're gonna get it. You know yeah. everyone. <laughs> you know, and you can drive any car you want. Yeah, so yeah. because you know that you already created a cash flow. Yeah. So let's let's try by all means. Let's create a cash flow. And the le the leisure, the luxurious life, the, you know, like the things that you wanna feel good you want to be like they can come after yeah, yeah. you know but you know, when you know that you know now i'm sorted i have a cash flow you yeah, know yeah. that that's how people keep like that's that, that's generational generational wealth yeah no perfect yeah. now thank you so much bro yeah man i appreciate you coming <laughs> and sitting down with me anyway guys uh, wait. <laughs> Well, anyway, yeah. guys, well, I didn't just close it off. Anyway, my name is Mobile Tambani from Top yeah. 10 SA, and this is Vuvu right here. Thank you so much, brother. No, thank you, man. Yeah. For, thank you for having yeah. me. And, and a big really thank you to it. and a big thank you to Exynos for just making all of this possible. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, we we really had a very good time, man. Yeah. yeah. I hope you guys will see you here next, next year. year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's so very simple to get in here. So just talk to him. <laughs>